So I have a quick question for everybody using or planning on using solar panels in South Africa. Do you guys think that it's costing you an arm and a leg right now? Because I have got some interesting news for you pertaining to the cost of solar panels. Listen to this. So, so before I continue, just don't shoot the messenger. I'm just giving you guys the news, okay? But ESCOM is intensifying its efforts to ensure that all grid-tight solar panel installations are registered by March 2026. So that's less than a year from now. Homeowners and businesses must comply with this requirement or they will risk facing significant penalties and that includes the disconnection from the national grid. Basically what that means is even if you are off the grid, if you're still connected to the grid, the ESCOM grid, they will be yeah, imposing a few penalties on you. Anyway, this quote-unquote initiative is part of ESCOM's small-scale embedded generation, it's a SSEG program aimed at managing the growing number of solar installations and ensuring grid stability. And in saying that, there's a few key points that you need to note. So first up, registration requirements. All households and businesses with solar panels must register their systems, even if they do not feed power back into the grid. Failure to register could lead to installations being deemed illegal, resulting in fines and disconnections. Fines first, just, just by the way. Number two, Financial implications, okay? Registered users should be aware that they will incur additional surcharges for grid maintenance. These costs will vary by municipality and are intended to cover the upkeep of ESCOM's infrastructure. This means that even if you generate your own power, you will still contribute to the overall maintenance of the grid. Yeah, let that sink in for a second. And then thirdly, getting onto ESCOM's justification for this. So ESCOM argues that these measures are essential for maintaining safety and stability within the national grid. With more solar installations, the utility emphasizes the need for compliance with safety standards to protect both the public and its staff. So basically what ESCOM is saying is that with any illegal grid connections, illegal from 20, 2026 is going to be illegal, um, if you have like a problem with your with your power and it feeds back into the grid, it overloads anything, it's going to cause, cause problems. So, fair enough, they do have a point there when it comes to that. But this is a little bit extreme, I think. But don't worry, my fellow South Africans. There are a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, pun intended. But to facilitate the compliance, ESCOM has waived all registration fees for residential solar systems, right? The PV systems. Up to 50 kVA until the end of March 2026. This exemption aims to encourage more users to register the systems without the financial barrier of registration fees. You know, this sounds a lot like the TV license, where we don't even use the TV. We, well, we use the physical TV. But we don't use SABC 1, SABC 2, SABC 3. I don't even know if ETV still exists. 